Hi guys, I had a dream um, a few days ago. It was August 27th, I think. I've been praying on it, meditating on it. The dream really uh, shook me. Even though it doesn't sound very scary, it really it really frightened me. Um, when I woke up, I was just, I was shaking to my core. Um, I'm gonna give you what I believe is the interpretation of it. And as I was meditating during my prayer time and asking, questioning God, about this dream he gave me a prophetic word so i'm going to read that too this is the dream i dreamed that i was walking across a yard with a little girl i was holding her hand we were dressed in what looked like maybe amish clothes it was old-timey clothing uh, the little girl had she looked like maybe three or four she's really short and she had a hat on her head that was a big hat, and I couldn't see her face. So I don't know who she was. And even in the dream, I didn't know who she was. I was wondering, who is this little girl? But we walked across a, a big green you know, uh, grass, green grass, a big yard, to a house. And um, when, I got to the ha when we got to the house, we started to go into the house. And it was one of those kind of weird dreams where my consciousness was active. I was thinking in the dream. And I remember thinking, I'm having a, you know, this is a dream. Anything could happen. I wonder what's in this house. You know, I was kind of apprehensive going into the house because I didn't know what was in it. And I knew it was a dream, so it could be anything. Really, anything could be in the house. But I, I walked on into the house and... It was like a little foyer area with some chairs, and I didn't see no other furniture in the house, but my, and it was like a banister, a, a, a little short wall, and on the other side of that wall was the living area, and my mother was standing in the middle of that room, and she said, I think she said, Evelyn and Amanda are here, which is my daughter's name. Um, but again, you know, so that leads me to believe it was my daughter. But I, I know that that wasn't important. I know Amanda represented somebody as I did and as, and as my mother did as well, I believe. But anyway, um, I, me and uh, the little girl sat down in the chairs in the little foyer area. And I was holding her hand the whole entire time. And all of a sudden, it went dark. And I told you my consciousness was was there in the dream I was literally thinking which is really weird that that doesn't happen very often but I thought oh my goodness I'm having another darkness dream this is the sense um, I think this began for me um, around the time of the Passover this year where the Lord really began to speak to me about his hiding place and coming into his hiding place and you know the blood you know the blood being our protection and uh, which I knew all that before, but the Lord just started talking to my heart and dealing with my heart about it. And since then, I think it was around that time I had the first darkness dream. And since then, this makes the third one. But anyway, um, all of a sudden it went pitch dark. And and then all of a sudden from my right side, the little girl was on my left sitting in the chair. From my right side, there was a force. I don't know what the force was. It, it wasn't wind, it didn't blow me, it didn't push me out of the chair, but it was such an intense force that I just shut my eyes and just pulled into myself like this, and I began to, to just to cry out, Jesus, 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 and I woke up, and that was it. If any, you know, I believe that I have the interpretation of the dream, but, but probably I don't have it all. And if any of you guys see anything more in it, please, you know, let me know. I'm all, I, you know, I'm always happy to hear what other people, you know, see in this, if the Lord speaks to you. Or if you just have a feeling about something in the dream, then let me know. But I believe that, that I represented the older saints of God, the more older in the Lord, I mean. The, the more mature saints of God. I believe the little girl represented the, 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 the new in the Lord, the immature in the Lord. I believe that us walking across the grass, I believe that that was spiritual maturity. That was discipleship. Taking the hands, the older 
in the Lord, taking the hands of the, the newborn into the body of Christ and the children, taking them by the hand and teaching them the ways of the Lord and teaching them how to trust God, how to have faith in Him and just teaching them the ways of the Lord. I believe that that's, the, the yard was, it, it definitely meant something in the dream. But, um, and then I think that the house represents the hiding place of the Lord. And the darkness, I don't, oh, my mom, you know, I believe that my mom represents the Holy Spirit in the dream. Many times my mother in my dreams has represented the Holy Spirit. I believe, that, again, that's what she represented. Her presence in, and I believe that, that that house was the hiding place of the Lord. That I went into the hiding place of the Lord and I took the younger with me. You know, I think that that represented, you know, all, all of the young in the Lord. And I represented all the older in the Lord. But I, we went into the hiding place. And I think, you know, I don't know if the darkness, I don't know if it literally means, you know, lights out, you know, darkness, like, you know, like the moon and the sun not shining, that type of darkness. Or if it represents a time of destruction, a time of, you know, really, really hard times. And it could be both. But uh, that's what I'm leaning toward, you know, dist dist sudden destruction. Really hard times hitting all of a sudden is, is what I'm feeling. But uh, I think what the Lord was saying is, is that, that, that even when we enter in to His safe place, which is trust in Him, that's what that is, trust in Him to protect us, that he, I think he's warning me that that we still are gonna feel the the blunt the the blunt of the darkness during that time that we're gonna feel the force of that, but yet we we are protected and we are in him and we do have to you know call, cry out to him, but that but the things that's coming upon the earth for the saints of God. You know, we are going to feel it. We, you know, we are, you know, we are going to feel it. But, uh, so I think that that's what it is. But it, it just, you know, and, and also the intensity. I think the Lord is speaking to me about the intensity of what's coming because it was so intense. I'm telling you, it was like, it was almost like I had grabbed a hold of an electrical something and I was being shocked I mean it just shocked me to my core I mean and it wasn't electricity I know that it wasn't electricity I'm just trying to help you to understand how how the the that force that I felt in the darkness how it was all the way to, to the core of my being where I could literally do nothing but cry out to Jesus even in the secret place and, and, and you know, and I'm sure that that's what that was, the secret place. Okay, so that's that's my take on it, and that's what I felt. Because I'm telling you, for the first two or three days, I just didn't even know. And so, you know, I feel like the Lord did give me the interpretation as I was seeking His face and praying. But also, I had specifically asked the Lord, you know, I was talking specifically talking to the Lord about this dream and asking Him the meaning of this dream when He gave me this word. So that's why I'm pairing this word with this dream in this video. And this is what the Lord said. He said, My children, be aware. A time of darkness approaches. Come into my presence. Learn of me. Learn of my glory, my power, my might, and my goodness. You cannot survive the approach in darkness without me. So learn of me now. Come close to me now. Put your trust and faith in me now. I would not have you caught off guard. I love you. I see the plans of your enemy. I want you to know the things that lie ahead. Press into me. Trust in me. I will be with you in the dark times. Th though the forces of evil will surround you, I will be with you. I will be in your midst. You can trust me, so do not be afraid. Look to me. Trust in me. I am with you. Fear not, my little children. The time comes when all shall be fulfilled. I would not have your eyes blind. I want you to see all before it's time, so you will know I am God. I see all. 
I know all. I am mighty and I am true. You can trust me even in the darkest hour. Yes, you will feel the blast of the enemy. But even in the darkness, I am there. I am mighty. You have nothing to fear because I am near. Your enemies rise up and wage war. But who can stand in ooh, I feel the presence of the Lord? But who can stand in my presence? They will fall like dominoes. They will be like sheep led to the slaughter. How dare them to raise their hand against my little ones? I will have the last laugh, says the Lord of Heaven's armies. That's it. God bless you. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.